Hello and welcome to Todd versus, versus BBD. All right, well, we're fresh off of the StarCityGames.com Open Series in Baltimore featuring a modern open, the first one. Indeed. We don't know who won yet, though, because we're filming this the week before. Okay, we know who won. It was the director, Choi. Yeah, so, it uh, was playing Magic uh, the Gathering as an entity. Yeah, you know? Bogles. Bogles <laughs> won. Uh, no, but today we're going to be playing a little bit more modern, and this is us uh, both preparing for the tournament and hopefully giving you guys a little bit of insight into uh, a matchup that could end up being a pretty popular, uh, you know, series of decks, uh, specifically the Infect deck played by Team uh, Pantheon yep. at the uh, Pro Tour Fader Forged in, where was it at? I don't even remember. Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. It's been too many tournaments. It's been two weeks. Yeah, it's yeah. been two weeks. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, they played uh, Green Splash Blue Infect thanks to uh, their addition to Tom Ross on their team who beat them senseless with it over and over again. Uh, and they all ended up playing that. So, and then the next week, uh, Tom Martell actually made top eight of Grand, or two weeks later, uh, Tom Martell made yep. top eight of Grand Prix Vancouver with the the same deck. Uh, Brian is going to be playing Blue Red Twin, which uh, ended up winning the Pro Tour and then also won the Grand Prix. Yeah. So it has won back to back tournaments. It's obviously a powerful deck choice. Um, maybe it's not that great against the Abzan decks that are really popular, but it's pretty good against almost everything else, and you can still win that matchup too. Yeah, uh, I'm like, very excited to see how this matchup plays out because uh, I haven't played much Infect uh, in Modern at all. Yeah, And I've played a ton of Splinter Twins, so it's going to be interesting for me to be on this side with the bad guy. <laughs> And I have not played any Splinter Twin in years, so uh, it'll it'll be an interesting. Uh, see if I can make some infinite fairies and or clerics. So yeah, well, um, I hope I make infinitely large spell skites with Wild Defiance. <laughs> that's, that's my goal. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, enjoy the video. We'll be right back. All right, we are here for the first game, and I was able to win the die roll, and I'm going to keep this hand. It's a little awkward, but hopefully we can draw out of it a bit. Yeah, I would like uh, for someone to go back through the archives of Todd vs. BBD and see how many die rolls in a row I've lost. Because uh, <laughs> this it's becoming ridiculous. But anyway, uh, my hand is pretty good. Uh, we got basically all the pieces to the puzzle, and we just kind of have to hope that we don't die. I'm okay with it becoming ridiculous as long as it's not becoming a mess. Right, I'm gonna go to 17. One of these days. And get. What, you're not afraid of dying to regular damage? I'm not. Okay. Even if I didn't know the matchup, I'm still fetching Steam Bones here. Okay. So. I know, I know. But since I do know the matchup, it's just extra value. Wow. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna Serum Visions it up. Okay. Alright, so we drew this, which is bad. And then we scry two. And uh, I'm actually going to keep both of these in that order. You're up. All right. So I will go ahead and fetch Vernon Catacombs into Breeding Pool and play No Hierarch. 17. Here you go. All right. And I am going to draw. Hilariously enough, that brief pause from Brian lets me know he has Thought Scour in hand. <laughs> Alright, so I have to decide if I want to do anything at all here and... Probably play a land. Well, I'm definitely going to play a land. <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm actually going to play this untapped and go to 15. Oh man, I'm going to get you. I might die to regular damage. And I think I just passed the turn, actually. Sure. I really hope I draw another no hard, so I just start jamming you. Oh. All right, we'll play Nagmoth Nexus. Okay. And I guess I'd want to just pass the turn. Go. All right, draw. Go. Tectonic Edge. Right. Probably should Upkeep. not. Draw. I will pay to life. Sure. 15. All right, so we got Slash, Bolt, Dispel. Wow, you got a lot of interaction. I do. And then Exarch, Twin, Cryptic. 
That is a very good hand. We'll draw a card. Sure. No matter what I do, I'm going to get messed up pretty hard here. Uh, uh, activate. Sure. Move to attack. Sure. Attack. Trigger. Okay. I will pass for you. So will I. All right. Take two poisons. Yep. And here we go. I'm gonna turn I'll play X Arc. Sure. I'll tap down your breeding pool. Sure. Now I can't just jam twin here because if he well I have to draw a land first, but assuming I do, I can't just draw up a twin here because he can just find a basswood my deceiver X Arc. But I did draw a land, so I'm going to play that and go to 13. And um, here I kind of just want to. Attack you for one at 14. Mm -hmm. And I think I just say go again. All right, we'll fetch down to 13, get a breeding pool, tipped. I could potentially get a. Uh, uh, oh, is there a, a dried arbor in my main deck? I should probably know that. I know I have one in the sideboard, but I wasn't sure if it was a 1 1 split. I guess not. Yeah, the, the dried arbor can be interesting in some situations where, like, I could have, you know, fetch blocked and if I had mana, I could like pump it or whatever. But it also just gives you a, a good resource against Liliana of the Veil, which can be rather problematic on occasion. Draw. Okay. Activate. Okay. Uh, or declare tax. Sure. All right, two. Sure. All right, so we know his hands. Problem is, uh, it could be in some just odd waters here. <laughs> I like odd waters better than even waters. All right, uh, let's go. Um, I think I'm going to try to counter draw. Sure. Go. Er, sorry. Go. Possible blessing only targets creatures you control, right? Correct. Alright, well, I'm just gonna go for twin yeah, then. You have to spell. Yep. Target with vine. I'll just spell. Alright, yep. you win. Tilt. Alright, I'm on the play here for game two, and this hand is uh, wafting something foul towards me, but uh, <laughs> it, uh, I think it's a keeper. I mean, we need to draw a land pretty bad, but I gotta keep it. This hand's a keep. So. Alright, 17. Go. Um. 17, bolt it. Yep, now we gotta draw a land real bad. I think that I have to just snap off a bolt when I have the opportunity to. Yep. And I don't want to wait for him to untap. Yep. Alright, you want to cut or anything? Sure. And dead, go. Alright. If he didn't have the removal spell there, we actually, if he just like had nothing on the one, we actually could have just killed him on two with uh, the draw that we drew. So I think we just say go here. But, all right, go. We're basically dead. I'll peek in a turn. I'll just leave it face up. Okay. Million pump spells. A spell sky and a blight agent. Sure. I drew the second mutagenic growth the turn after my guy died, which would have been great. Um. All right. I'm gonna pass and then upkeep X Arc here. Pretty cool. Go. Am I dead? Maybe. <laughs> need a land or need a splark one? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll find out. And draw. Alright. 
Attack you for one. Yeah, 16. Lava Mancer, go. Alright. Well, that was actually not a bad draw. I have a feeling I'm going to get remanded no matter what I do, so I guess I'll start with this. Remand it. You're up. And hopefully... Alright, we do the land. Infinite Fairies. <laughs> All right, so we're down two games, so we need uh, some some powerful stuff to get back into this match. Um, on my side, I'm going to be bringing in a lot of cheap ways to interact with his stuff. Uh, two spell players, two dispel, mostly as aggressive counter spells so that I can play an early threat and protect it. Mm -hmm. um, also, two more spell skites go along with the two main deck. A third wild defiance to basically counter all of his uh, lightning bolts and also just uh, make sure that like you know my pump spells do big, big damage. Uh, we're cutting most of our pump spells that uh, don't protect from lightning bolt in favor of uh, protection spells and uh, to go along with the protection spells we have main deck. Since, uh, you know, Brian is a combo deck that interacts with uh, like tapping my guys and stuff, Might of Old Crusher is pretty bad since I have to use it on main phase or else it doesn't do much. And Mutant Growth doesn't really protect my guys from the things I want to protect them from. So, um, you know, we're not trying to be as fast as humanly possible. We're just trying to uh, make sure that we get the job done and make sure that our threats can stay around long enough to do that. Uh, two copies of Twisted Image to help out in case uh, Brian has Spell Sky, but worst case scenario, it just cycles. And then a Piracy Charm to kill Lava Mancer or Pestermite or whatever. Uh, two Distortion Strikes come out as well since Brian's not going to be blocking too much. Uh, but yeah, sorry. All right, for myself, I'm going to be cutting uh, Cryptics and Remands because they're just really slow. And uh, he he's going to bring in things like Dispel or Negate or whatever post board, so I don't want to have these like clunky counter spells, especially when he gets on the board faster than me. And I'm just going to be bringing in cheaper counter spells and a bunch of removal spells, essentially. And I want to keep the entirety of the combo intact because I think that's really my best way to attack him. He doesn't really have that many ways to stop me outside of Spell Skite, and hopefully we can use like Ancient Grudge or Dismember to deal with Spell Skites. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm on the play here for game three, and we're going to try to nickel and dime uh, Brian to death with this hand. Hopefully that works. All right, this hand is not fantastic, but it's still a keep, so we'll go ahead and keep it. All right, I will, I guess we can wait on this. Go ahead and play a Glistener Elf and pass. All right, I'm just going to play a Scalding Tarn and say go. land, pay two for a pro, down 18. Alright, that's probably the worst card he could cast, because now he knows exactly what we're doing. Um, people always, I think people always underestimate Gitaxian Probe, because they don't understand how frustrating it actually is to play against the card. Yeah. Like... Alright, so Lava Mancer could be... Problematic, but we don't really just want to run right into Brian's spell, so we're going to attack here and then try to do some stuff next turn. Okay. Uh, here you go. Uh, I don't think there's really anything at end of turn that he can play, so I'll go ahead and fetch uh, go to 19 and just get a Steam Bounce. Okay. Could play uh, with Squelch. Yeah. Squelch, yeah. Squelch me. Ang, ang, ang. All right, on top, draw. And let's play Grim Lava Monster. Okay. You're up. So this is like a medium tilt. <laughs> That Lava Mancer is real good against us, and uh, our hand is not very well set up to try to kill him this turn. Good. Yep. So I'd like to, like to hear that. So, uh, attack. Okay, two. I'll go ahead and play a Blighted Agent. Well, I'm going to attempt a Spell Snare. Sure. I go to... Yeah, no, 16. Should be at 16. I'm going to take two for this, so, or three. So I'll be at 16, and you will be at also. Are you taking 
Yeah, I have two to, to okay. cast the So we're, we're both as... Oh, wait, you probed. You're at... Oh, I'm sorry. I probed two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm yeah. at 14. And I'm at 16. Okay. And you're at 240. Yep. All right. Here we go. That's bad. I'm dropping cards from my deck into my hand. Don't do that at home, kids. <laughs> People will get mad at you. Draw. Um... What cards do you know that I have? I know you have uh, two Deceiver Exarchs, a Stomping Ground, a Tectonic Edge. Okay. I'm going to play Tectonic. And I think here I'm just going to main phase kill this thing. Okay. And say go. All right. You're at two Poison. Yep. I know you have Stomping Ground, two Exarchs, and two Ram cards. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to cut or should I just go for it? We'll cut you, hopefully not to it. Attack. Nope. Kick vines. Sure. Alright, I'm done. That many. <laughs> Yay! Modern fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm on the play this game, and um, this hand looks pretty strong, so I'm going to keep it and start things off by going to 17 and firing off the of Serum Visions here. Let's get a Steam Bounce. What I am thankful for, for the modern it does not have Ponder. Because the old fetch, shuffle, ponder, shuffle is just super fresh. All right, well, we're going to keep this on top of our deck, but we don't want to draw another one of those, so we'll bottom that. You're up. All right. Um, well, this hand is uh, not that great, but hopefully it'll get a little better. All right. I'm going to start things off with Serum Visions. Sure. So we draw this, which is solid, and then we get to scry two. And I am actually just going to go ahead and bottom both of these because, well, this might actually be good on this at some point. So maybe um, I'm gonna. I guess I'll keep that and bottom this, and we'll we'll try that. You're up. All right, fetch forest, uh, and then I'm gonna pay two for detection probe. So I go 17. I'll take a look at your hand. Lots <clears throat> of stuff. So nothing I'm like super afraid of here, since my hand is sweet. So. Oh, that sucks for me. Well, you'll see next turn. All right, so oh, sorry, I have to play it. I'll draw a card. Okay. Now we can't really afford to play the blight agent here, so we're just gonna pass. Okay. Untap. Draw. No, I'm just going to go Snapcaster Mage. Yep. Serum Visions. Remand it. Tilt. <laughs> so we draw this, which is pretty sweet. And we look at these two, which are both really bad. So we'll bottom both of those. They're up. All right. Fetch, Wall Defiance, go. All right, so you're at 16. Yep. Draw. been a long time since I cast Walk Finds. You're at 16. Yep. I'm just going to play Misty, uh, Lava Mancer, and hit you for two. Rats. <laughs> That's so bad for me. All right. 14. All right. And is it just spell? Yeah. Okay. Go. Yeah, it's a huge blowout. Not to mention my hand is just full of all these really bad cards. Alright, I will play Igless now. Sure. 
I will play a Blight of Ages. Sure. Yes. I'll fetch and go to 16 and... Should electrolyze both of them. <laughs> See what happens. So stop them down. Okay. At least I'm not dead. You are not dead. <laughs> but in good shape. Oh no, what did I do? What was this? This is your XLC version. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry. It's fine. Pulled the uh, the Cheon Mageddon. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, untap and draw. Sulfur Falls. Do you yeah. have how many cards in? I have four. You have five, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm gonna attempt to flame slash bladed agent. Yep. Yeah, so Brian's hand has uh, Dispel in it still, so anything I try to do is just going to get Dispelled. So, not a whole lot we can do. But. Um, I'm trying to think of the best way to do this here. I think I just... Well, maybe I just... Uh, Lava Mancer, your guy right now. Yeah, I'll attempt to Lava Mancer, your guy. Yep. And. She for two. Oh. Go. 11. Get. Get Okay. My hand is super awkward. Can't beat Wild Man. Not easily, anyway. Yep. Go. In a turn, I'm going to attempt an Ancient Grudge. Turn. And that's where I'll concede. <laughs> <All right. laughs> that's really bad. My hand is Dispel Become Immense, but like, you can flash that back to kill it. Yep. And uh, like you can dispel this, and I can dispel fight back, but I'm just under way too much pressure. I mean, maybe I should. I was gonna put this on this next turn, but then I drew this, so that would have. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Or I was going to draw that. So. All right, I'm on the play here for game five, and we got a weird one, and I'm really hoping I get to do something cool, but probably not. This hand's a little weird as well, and I'm just gonna keep it because I don't right. even. I don't even know. Splunk Twins, the fun police. It's like, oh, you're trying to do something cool. Tap it, kill it, counter it, kill you. <laughs> yeah. Go. All right, Breeding Pool. I really wish that I didn't have cards in my deck I could cast on turn one so that I could just main phase my one so teams. All right, cut. So you just main phase what? Fetching, so uh -oh. it doesn't take up so much time. All right, uh, Spell Sky? Sure. Here go. It's going to die. It is gonna die. Alright, I'm gonna get a uh, reading pool. I assume that's in the stack? Or is it just stomping grounds? I think grounds? it's just stomping grounds. Could be wrong though. Been wrong before. Yeah, it is stomping grounds. I'm gonna get that. Stomping grounds? That is. That maybe is. <laughs> Untap and draw. Not what we're looking for. Um, go. Attack. I'll take zero. Or right. I'll take it. Wingmate rock. I knew uh, I should have killed it. Yeah. I'll play this duder. Sure. And there you go. All right. 
Get an island, ancient grudge, one of them. All right. Um, so you go to 18. I am actually going to just, uh, sorry, vines of the vast with that. Sure. The reason I'm doing that is because if I wait for the flashback, I'm going to have to use my ban on a different turn, which I might not necessarily want to do. It also counters it while he's tapped out so he can't dispel or spell pierce back. So I think it's okay to do that now. Since keeping one in play is pretty important against Splinter Twin, obviously. Counters lots of his stuff. Alright, 16. Come on! <laughs> Go! <laughs> this is gross! And uh, of course I drew this. <laughs> of course, that's my threat. Go. The old wild defiance. Old two ancient grudge. You play two, right? Uh, I don't know, probably. I'm pretty sure it's two. <laughs> I'm gonna have a main phase of peak. Alright, piracy charm and a one top teeth. Alright, piracy and a heath draw. I hope you play your spell sky and I draw my twisted image. Go. 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 Your turn. I'm at less. I think I'm at 16. I'm gonna fetch four times. One, two, three, four, yep. Are you also at 16? Yes, I am. Yeah. Alright, we need a good one. Not a good one. That could be a good one. No, it's not bad. Go. So, Piracy Charms plus 2 minus 1. Correct. Then I turn to fetch. I'm really hoping I draw an Apostle's Blessing or Vines of the Vast Wood so I get like max value off of him trying to grudge this Nexus. <laughs> By max value, you mean just pretty much instantly killing me? Oh, yeah. That's, <laughs> I mean, to me, instantly killing is max value, so, you know. I don't have any delusions I'm going to win this game. I prefer min value. All right. Something good. Power Closet? It's not actually very good. Um. Well, I'm going to flame slash your glistener elf. Alright, so he's a 4 4, and now I have to consider whether or not I want to piracy charm to save it. Uh, I think I want to save it uh, because I don't have any other pressure. However, Brian probably has Pestermite in hand because he tanked for a minute last turn before he untapped his demons. So I'm just going to let him save it. Yep. Could be ill advised, but you're up. Hopefully, as soon as I draw anything that protects this from grudge, I just kill him. So, well, I guess we just get to see what's up. Bam, boy. Two twin bolt electrolytes number. So you're at? Oh, you didn't. You didn't. Are you still at eighteen? Uh, I'm at sixty. Okay, and I'm at 16 as well? Yep. Okay. So he has... Or I'm, a, I'm at 15, sorry, yeah. Basically, just the dismember is the only card in his hand that does anything right now. Pretty much, essentially, yeah. Uh, I can cycle. Yeah. I will pass the turn. All right, I will cycle. Yeah, I'll take two. 14. Uh, I'm going to actually leave a blue up in case I draw like a... Something a like peak? I oh, guess I, already, I, only have, I only have one peak, I guess, so... All right, so you're at 14 now? Yep. All right. Probably bolt me too. Doesn't actually kill any of my guys. Yeah, maybe. Draw. I will electrolyze you again. Twelve. And draw. Go. For love that all that is holy. Come on. Hmm. Hold on. Yep, we're gonna go for it. Play that. Sure. Activate that. Sure. Attack for two. 
chapter one. Okay. I'll take one. Fine. Here we go. Um, you have a couple of cards in your hands. Three. I guess I'll wait. Draw. Um, I guess I'll take it. Nice. Right, so your hand has two twin bolts, uh, dismember, and one card. I don't know. Yep. Okay. Text. Yep. No blocks. No blocks. All right. I'm just gonna go for the kill here. Let's see if he has one other thing. If his last card is uh, a counter spell or something, then I'm dead. But I will party charm to give this. Uh, I don't know. Plus two plus one, I guess, and trigger this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna respond to all this with. Uh, actually, I'm gonna attack with this guy too, because I can actually redirect all this stuff to him and pump and maybe kill him that way too. So since he is at 15. Yep. <clears throat> so you're doing plus two plus one. Yep. All right. I think I flashback grudge on spell skate. Uh, well, yeah, sure. And then I think, let's see. Still in response to the Wild Defiance trigger. Okay. I'll pay four life and dismember this. Alright, I'll become a mince trigger trigger. Alright, trigger. Yeah, so I'm at 11. I will dispel your become a mince. Alright, we lose. Yeah, it's all dead. Here you go. Alright, well you don't lose yet. So what are you at right now? Uh, 12. And I'm at, at 11. 11. <coughs> I still don't think I just... I have so much mana that I can just bolt you at will if I need to. Just any, I could draw like a lighthouse or something. Draw that. Um, I'm at 11 I think. Yep. And he's at 12. Um... I wonder if it's worth splinter twenty the spell scope. <laughs> Maybe there next turn. Yeah. But like this turn, I can just peel. Uh... Twisted image. Yeah. All right. Start with that. It's pretty good. You're up. All right. Draw. Ugh. Serum visions. Yep. Draw. One, two. Bottom. Top. I'll uh, spawn it from this thing. Yep. Go. Take one. Okay. Go. In a turn, I'll make a spell spike copy. I don't know. I guess we'll. Wolfu? Spell spike? Wolfu? Alright, Serum Vision. Yep. Draw. Scry 2. Bottom both. Serum Visions. Draw, scry to I think we want these cards. I think I'll just top both. And this thing dies. Okay. And I'm gonna say go uh, upkeep deceiver this. Hmm. Proceed. It's in there. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, that was embarrassing uh, <laughs> on a, a lot of levels. Uh, my spells matched up pretty poorly with your spells. Yeah, my spells matched up pretty well with yours. Yeah. Was... Um, 
I there was the the one point in game five against the dispel uh, when I had the becomingments and the the charm. I could have maybe just attacked for one, and if you don't do anything, just like let everything just naturally happen. But the longer I wait, um, I feel like the more likely it is that I just die to the Splinter Twin combo. <laughs> and there was only one card in your hand I didn't know, and I felt like going for it was probably okay because you could have yeah. just drawn like a lightning bolt or land or something. Yeah, so. some sort of brick. I mean, one thing about Infect, it's, it seemed like you had issues beating this spell, and you had is issues beating Dispel. Uh, <laughs> that was pretty good, actually. Yeah. I no. uh, also <laughs> had uh, uh, a Grim Time beating a certain Lava Mancer. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, that's kind of how uh, modern is sometimes, though. Like, there are specific cards that a lot of people play, both main deck and sideboard, that are just specifically good against an entire archetype. But, I mean, that's just magic in general. Like, Grimlock Mancer is good against creature decks, you know? Like, yeah. The problem is that this deck is a creature deck that doesn't have that many. It only has, like, 12 actual poison creatures, or 13, I guess, with the Icar Claw Mirror, but, and then uh, four uh, Inkmoth Nexuses, but... I mean, for the most part, like, people are going to come prepared for basically every deck uh, that they have enough room to be prepared for. And cards like Grim Lawmancer just have this splash damage against things like Infect or, like, Affinity or whatever. So um, it's not like they actually even need hate cards sometimes, you know? Yeah, like, they just... No one's going to board Malira to beat Infect because they kill you with damage, like, half the time anyway. Yeah. <laughs> would just become a uh, Noble Hierarch, I bet, so... But you don't even need, like, those cards to beat the deck, so... Um, I mean, I think Infect has, like, some things going for it. It's, like, very fast and can be hard for decks that don't have a lot of removal to handle it. Uh, but at the same time, it seems like it's pretty bad against Splinter Twin. I mean, I have removal spells, like, counters to interact with you, and then also a combo that's as fast as yours. Yeah, I mean, it's it actually makes me kind of sad playing the modern version of Infect, whereas I just absolutely love the ex the Legacy version. Because I get to play Days and Force of Will as like my protective things, and those are also very good against other combo decks. Whereas yeah. uh, in Modern, it's like my my things to protect my combo are just Vines of Vastwood, like and only Vines of Vastwood. I yeah. also like can't turn to kill you without a lot of help, which is uh, unfortunate. But I don't know. I think the Infect deck's probably good. It, I thought this would be a closer matchup, and I, I definitely underestimated the power. Uh, Grim Lava Mancer alongside having such an efficient combo that yep. I only have like four cards to interact with in game one. So uh, there's that. But I, I think the Blue Red deck looked awesome. Yeah, I, I really liked how it played out. It seemed like it was pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I would like to find room for a fourth Snapcaster maybe because I <gasps> think Snapcaster is just the best card in Modern. Yeah, that's great. Uh, other than that, like I, you know, it seemed great. So cool. All right, guys. Well, that's all for me and Brian this week. I hope you enjoyed the coverage from the Star City Games Open in Baltimore this past weekend where Brian won with this deck, <laughs> and I got dead last with Infect. <laughs> uh, no, um, but uh, probably hopefully, not what hopefully happened. we did well, and hopefully you enjoyed the, the coverage. But uh, make sure to check out another Verse video on Wednesday and another one on Friday yep. uh, featuring Bard Narsen and uh, one of the two of us. Uh, check out my articles and Brad's articles on Thursday and Brad, or Brian's on Friday, and we'll see you soon. See you.